Hello, my lovely Leos, and welcome to your Tarot After Dark Love Reading with me, Miss Machiste. Leo, we're looking into your love life and what is coming your way next in terms of love for the rest of the month of June. Please do keep in mind that time is fluid. And this reading can resonate for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning Leo, welcome back in. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate all of my beautiful Leos out there. If you are a returning subscriber, you know how much I love my Leos. I'm a Leo Moon and a Leo Mars, so really a special place in my heart for you. And y'all are my top viewing zodiac sign, so you know I love me, my Leo. So, Leo, please do not forget to like the video. It really helps my channel grow. And stick around towards the end of the read. I will be getting each zodiac sign's feelings for you for the end of June. So, Spirit, please show me for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What's coming their way next in terms of love? What does Leo need to know for the rest of the month of June in their love lives? All right, here we go, Leo. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Bear with me as I read for single, separated, and in partnership. Take what messages are yours and leave the rest behind. So here we go, Leo. We have the Seven of Cups. This is water sign energy. We also have the Six of Pentacles. This is earth energy. And we also have the Magician. Beautiful. This is Gemini energy. All right, Leo. So I feel like my single Leos, if you haven't found love yet, I do feel like you are going to be attracting someone or multiple people your way. So single Leos, if you are sitting in your manifestation position with the magician coming through, I definitely do feel like you are receiving a lot of energy your way. I do feel like there are multiple people interested in you here, Leo, for my singles. I feel like you have a decision on who you really do want to pursue. I do feel like for some of you um, single Leos, you can meet somebody at work or through work. For others of you Leos, you know, you could be single and you could just be having a lot going on right now. It doesn't mean that you have options. You could just have one person come your way. You may have a lot of work to do. You may have a lot of people that you need to prioritize as well in terms of family, friends, um, work situations, those kind of things. But I definitely do feel like Leo... There is going to be somebody coming your way here. And I almost feel like for some of you Leos, you are single and you do have a lot going on. And a person presents themselves or they have already presented themselves. And you're kind of still trying to navigate fitting love into your life. So for some of you Leos, that definitely could be the vibe here. And if you're Leo cross watcher, this could be you. It doesn't have to be Leo. But take the way it resonates for you. For some of you, this could be vice versa. For others of you Leos, I do feel like if you are in a relationship, I do feel like there was a moment here where there was a lack of effort on your person's end. I feel like for that moment, it may have confused you. I feel like that moment, it may have had you really up in the air, not knowing where you stand with your person, or possibly this is just somebody that you have been connecting with, not really knowing where you stand with this person because of their lack of effort. It does look like this person is going to start putting more effort into this connection. You could have absolutely have been manifesting more effort from this person, whether this is your current person or somebody that you have been in a bit of separation energy with because they do lack possible consistency. So it does look like this person is going to be generous towards you this second um, half of the end of June into July. So I definitely do feel like you are going to be, a, um, I want to say pleasantly surprised because for a lot of you, I don't feel like you were expecting this person to put in more effort. I feel like you were believing in yourself. But for some of you, I do feel like you have 
maybe, what's the word I'm looking for? Release the expectations on people. And that's how you reap your abundance. That's how you get your manifestations. So it does look like you're in a powerful position here, Leo. So let's clarify this here. You're definitely getting more effort from somebody or you are receiving a plethora of energies your way. It could be multiple people or just one person who is like, Leo, I'm interested in you. You are... It's almost like your confidence is shining through as well, Leo. So keep that confidence level up. So let's clarify. Especially if this is like a newer person interested in you. It's like... The way you carry yourself, the way you just go about things is just very attractive to this person. We have the Seven of Cups here with the Ace of Cups. Yes, definitely a love offer coming your way, Leo. Um, I did say that first, that there was going to be a lover available to you. And a lot of you, this is a new love. For my Leos in relationships, a renewed sense of love. Like I said, the confusion was there. You weren't really sure if it would happen. Um, for some of you as well, you're, this somebody could be telling you that they love you. And, you know, for a while you could have just been confused about their feelings for you. That could just be why the Seven of Cups was there. I do want to say for some of you Leos as well, you could have had a dream about new love with the Seven of Cups there. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. There you go. All the times where you felt like you weren't getting what you wanted, all of those times where you felt rejected or invalidated or even ignored, you're finally, finally receiving that energy back, that effort back, that reciprocation into your life. And the Magician with the, ooh, the Hierophant coming through as the Guru. This is Taurus energy. So look at this here, Leo. You sit in the power and spirit themselves are coming in to bring you your manifestation. So for a lot of you Leos, if you've been connecting with somebody who was just kind of really just not giving you what you wanted, I feel like it was in terms of emotion and effort. I really feel like this person is coming through with an extreme sense of, I want you, Leo, and now I'm going to show you, and now I'm going to prove it to you. And it's like, you're going to really feel it. For others of you, Leos, it, new love is here. Whatever you've been manifesting, whatever you have been focusing on, you are absolutely going to be coming into contact with a new lover. For some of you, there is some sort of confusion here, possibly... Um, you're still confused about your emotions in general um, because of your past experiences. Some of you may be like, well, I don't know if I'm ready for new love or I don't know if I really want new love. For some of you, you may be in that position of trying to figure out if you want to take this offer. But nonetheless, I definitely do feel like there's going to be I love you's being said, especially for my Leos in relationships. Um, we do have the Hierophant as well, so you could absolutely be um, reaching a, a higher level of commitment with your person. That could be what this Ace of Cups brings. And I also do feel like for a lot of you, Leo, Spirit is just bringing your manifestation into your reality. So think about it. Have you been manifesting new love, past love, or your current person to be more... I just want to say into it. Like, into it, stable, loving, like... You really just feel like this is good for you. So let's clarify this once more for here for you, Leo. I do feel like for some of you, you may have options. I do feel that way. All right, here we go, Leos. On this Ace of Cups, we have the Six of Wands. Yeah, you're going to feel really good about whatever offer is coming your way here, whatever's being said to you, whatever emotions being expressed to you by this person, a new person, a past person, you're gonna feel seen, recognized, appreciated. Like finally, somebody's seeing me for my value. Somebody's finally putting the effort into me or your person or this past person. Finally, like valuing you in the way that you deserve. Four of Cups here with the Three of Cups. Beautiful. Yeah, you're going to feel really happy, Leo, with this Three of Cups energy, Six of Wands. A lot of happiness, a lot of feeling that you are victorious now as well. 
So with this three of cups, definitely could be somebody that is interested in reconciliation with you. And I do feel like for a lot of you Leos, there is almost so many different ways that you can find love. And I feel like with this seven of cups and this four of cups, there is a bit of uncertainty around you or that you feel emotionally on obtaining love or finding love or having love. And for a lot of you, this definitely could be somebody that is reconciling with you, reuniting with you. So you feel that love. And with the three of cups as well, you really could be eating somebody out, somebody at a party, somebody through friends, even a friend of a friend, you're out doing something, but it's going to be a cause for celebration. You're going to be feeling really good about this energy. And my Leo's in relationships, you know, that reconnect can come from you to really working on that friend foundation as well. Because, you know, sometimes when you lose a romantic love, you have to go kind of back to that, you know, you're my lover and my best friend. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're kind of realizing like, you know what, this person is my lover and my best friend. It's not always going to be extremely romantic and all that all the time. But I feel like this person is really going to be making you happy with showing you that like the love isn't lost. And here we have is the Hierophant with the Knight of Pentacles. There you go. Your stability, your knight in shining armor, the Knight of Pentacles, the one that makes it to the finish line. The one that's stable, secure, reliable. Yes, for some of you Leos, like I said, in relationships, this may have been a little bit slow or stagnant at a certain point. But I do feel like this person wants to be with you. I feel like this person is very interested in commitment with you. I just feel like they were either trying to figure out how much effort they had to put in. Or, you know, for some of you Leos, you know, you could have just been connecting with somebody who hasn't had a boyfriend or a girlfriend or quite some time. Like they had to learn how to love you, learn your love language, stuff like that. That could very much be happening. And for all for all the other of you Leos, I definitely do feel like this could be a past person coming back around, giving you attention, offering you love. Possibly you even see them out as well. I do feel like there's a very high possibility of you two connecting for this moment and for a little while bit to figure out how long you two want to stay in this connection or if this can work out whatever the case may be definitely um, a very nice position here for new love as well but I do feel the need that you need to get yourself out there because you can find love through work through friends through going out through having fun through just kind of being confident like I said your confidence is your key here and with this four of cups Leo I feel the need to tell you do not let all those people who rejected you, who made you feel invalidated, ignored, or that you just weren't good enough stop you from seeing what's out there and finding your person or just believing in yourself or having that confidence that you will find it. So, Leo, it looks like there is going to be a really uplifted energy for you for the end of June where you're going to feel happy, seen, appreciated, uplifted. I definitely do feel like your person is going to be giving you a lot of attention and a lot of appreciation or this new person right away is you're just going to feel really good about them or this past person's coming in and they're just kind of like, here I am, Leo. I want to admire you and... It looks like they will be admiring you. I do want to say for some of you, you may have a secret admirer at work or somebody that like is interested in you and you see them on work endeavors. Maybe you're not actually at work or maybe you go somewhere for a happy hour every Friday with your coworkers or like something along those lines. The possibilities are endless. Um, but this is what I have here for you, Leo. The signs that came out specifically. Um, we have a lot of water. We have a lot of earth. Specifically, um, actually any earth, but specifically Taurus. Could be Capricorn or a Virgo as well. And I just feel like Spirit's bringing you somebody that you can commit to. If that is what you want. Committing to yourself as well as committing to another person. And I do feel like the love was not lost in your relationship, Leo. I, I feel the need to tell some of you that. And we also have... Yeah, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have here Gemini and more Earth. The only energy we don't really have here is air, but that does not mean that you're not dealing with an air sign. You did have Gemini, so 
It could really be anybody. So let's get into it. Leo, all the way from Aries to Pisces spirit. I need each zodiac sign's feelings for my beautiful Leos for the end of June into early July. Remember, time is fluid, y'all. There's only like a week and a half left of June, maybe even a maybe even a couple days by this by the time this um reading releases. So here we go, Leo, all the way from Aries to Pisces. Can I please have each zodiac sign's feelings for Leo at the end of June, towards the end of June? Thank you, Spirit. You can use their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this, but please take what resonates and leave what does not. So here we go, Leo. We have Aries feelings for you as the Two of Wands and the Empress. So it does look like Aries is really anticipating the growth of this connection. You could be dealing with an Aries who possibly decided to choose themselves recently, but this would have already happened. For others of you, this is definitely Aries anticipating the growth of this connection. They feel like you are somebody that they can have a lot of longevity with. You are somebody who is their divinely guided soulmate, and they definitely do feel very excited of what's to come for this relationship or you two may also be anticipating a pregnancy as well if you do want to get pregnant with your Aries. There is a slim percentage of you though that an Aries recently decided to focus on themselves but that's only for some of you and that would have already happened so. Next we have is Taurus feelings for you as the Emperor and the Page of Pentacles. So Taurus feels like you are the one and they want to see you, get together with you, and start building something with you. I do feel like you could be dealing with a Taurus who is like really mature or just really stubborn at one point. And then they act a little bit immature. So it could be a little bit weird with Taurus because you're uncertain what energy you're going to get from them. But I do feel like Taurus may try to step up here and offer you something. Or um, you could also be getting an apology from a Taurus if they did you wrong. I also want to say as well, if you work for a Taurus or there's some sort of Taurus energy at work, you couldn't be getting a raise. I don't know, it's just very random. Uh, next we have is Gemini's feelings for you as the sun and the Knight of Cups. So Gemini is very interested in pursuing you. Yeah, pursuing you. Um, they definitely have feelings for you. They definitely feel the spiritual connection that you two share. The Knight of Cups, they may need to mature a little bit, but they definitely find a lot of youthful, happy, and uplifted energy with you. You definitely make Gemini feel good, and they're really interested in seeing possibly where this connection can go. You may also... Um, Get a confession of feelings from a Gemini. They may be finally telling you how they feel about you. What the sun usually brings clarity and truth. Next we have here is Leo's feelings for you. Leo as the five of swords and the chariot. So it does look like your Leo is very interested in moving away from conflict. So if you two have been fighting or miscommunicating, they definitely want to move away from that and see if you two can heal that. For others of you, you could have just recently had a breakup or a separation with a Leo and you two are trying your best to move on from it, whether it's easy or not. I definitely do feel like there is just a very strong energy of moving away from conflict and arguments and all that stuff. It's like just you're Leo or you, Leo, you are Leo. And this doesn't want to be in the drama no more. And if that means moving away from this connection in general, then... It may have to mean that. For some of you, you two are going to figure it out together. Virgo's feelings for you are the King of Swords and the Two of Cups. So, very interesting. Your Virgo is interested in you, but I do feel like they're trying to figure out their emotions. Um, you could just be dealing with a Virgo who is very logical, analytical, and not too emotional, but I feel like they could be if they wanted to. They do definitely view you as their soulmate or somebody that they do feel very guided towards, somebody that they lived lives with, somebody that they are feeling very connected to. But King of Swords here, um, you could have hurt a Virgo, yes, and that's why they come through as this King of Swords, or... Virgo has been very hurt and they're just trying to figure out their emotions and figure out how to open up their heart. They just may have a little bit of a different love language than you do. Um, King of Swords can also be an indication that they view you as being cold. So if your Virgo is not like that, then they may see you that way. Next we have is Libra's feelings for you as the King of Pentacles and the Tower. So it does look like Libra is pretty much feeling like this is... 
um, unexpected for them. They may be unexpectedly wanting to commit to you like out of nowhere or you may want to commit to Libra out of nowhere and they're just like shocked by this. I definitely do feel like Libra, um, something may have happened with their finances that they were kind of really unexpectedly experiencing. You may have to be there to support them either financially or just be like there for them physically and um, caring. But it does look like Libra may be feeling um, shocked about some sort of commitment-like energy between the two of you. Very interesting with that sort of pairing. For others of you, I don't know, I'm just throwing this out there. Don't hate me, Leo or Leo Cross Watcher, if you are a Libra. Somebody may have, like, shockingly found out that somebody's married or in a relationship with, like, somebody else. But that's only for some of you. And I don't, I don't really feel that for most of you. That would have already happened, that shocking energy, so you would know. So next we have is Scorpio's feelings for you. Leo are the moon and the nine of cups. Ooh, so Scorpio is like hiding their feelings for you and their feelings are pretty good. They are wishing for you. They're hoping for you. Leo, you are somebody that gives Scorpio like really good satisfaction. They feel really happy in your energy. But are they going to show this? And eh, maybe not. With the moon here, Scorpio seems to be hiding these amazing feelings. They just may not be ready to open up about it or they're just not feeling confident in letting you know how much they really love you or how much they really like this connection. They do fear the unknown a little bit, but they do have hope for this connection and being something that is really good for them. So Scorpio's energy is pretty interesting as well. Um, next we have is Sagittarius feelings for you as the three of wands and the nine of wands definitely looks like Sagittarius has turned their back on this relationship or they're viewing you as not really letting them in to their energy to the, to your energy. So either a Sagittarius has recently decided to turn their back on this connection. You hurt them or they're just not ready for love yet or you turn their back you turned your back on a Sagittarius and they're kind of feeling like there's now a barrier between the two of you. Next we have is Capricorn's feelings for you, Leo, as the hanged man and the king of cups. Alright, so it looks like Capricorn is feeling a bit stuck on how to express themselves to you. It looks like Capricorn has a lot of feelings for you. Their feelings really run deep for you here, Leo. But with the hanged man, they do look either not confident in expressing or they're trying to figure out the best way to do it. Hmm. I do feel like for some of you as well, a Capricorn may be unsure about your feelings for them. So they look like they want to open up to you and they want to express and be in a commitment or even just an emotional kind of vibe with you. But they may actually be waiting for you to be more emotional or they're just trying to figure something out here. It's like they're trying to figure out either when is the right time for them to express themselves or if they should wait for you or it's interesting actually but Capricorn is trying to figure something out here they're gonna definitely um, coming to some sort of epiphany moment if you are dealing with a Capricorn and you two are separation they're definitely changing their mind about this they are in love with you and they do not want to let go of this oops hold on all right next we have Leo is Aquarius feelings for you as okay the Four of Pentacles, let me just pick this up, and the Page of Cups. So it does look like Aquarius may be looking at you as somebody who is a bit closed off towards them. They may be trying to get into your energy emotionally. They want you to open up a bit on the emotional level. For others of you, you definitely could be dealing with a Aquarius that is apologizing to you for being closed off or apologizing to you for being greedy with them, their time and energy. Definitely could be getting an apology from a Aquarius. You could also be meeting a new Aquarius with the Page of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. For some of you, it looks like an Aquarius wants to reach out to you, but they're kind of not like they're fighting with themselves. So for, for some of you, an Aquarius is either interested in you a new or past person or maybe your Aquarius has some emotions that they want to express but it's like they are not feeling 
comfortable doing and for others of you in Aquarius is definitely apologizing for either being being greedy with their time and energy or just plain old not opening up and for some of you like I said in Aquarius may feel like you're not opening up so they're gonna try and lastly we have Pisces feelings for you Leo let me make sure I'm, I'm on Pisces I may I hope I didn't skip nobody one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh gosh I did oh gosh who the hell did I skip? Crap. Hold on. Give me a second. Actually, let's just get out Pisces and then I'll figure out who I skipped. All right. So Pisces feelings for you are the three of pentacles and the ace of swords. So new communication coming from a Pisces or Pisces is wanting to speak with you. They want to compromise with you. It does look like Pisces is interested in being on the same page with you. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. You definitely could be getting some sort of truth from a Pisces. Um, you could also have a Pisces who's interested in you at work and they may express this to you. Um, but definitely compromise, conversation, new communication. So if you haven't heard from a Pisces, they may be communicating to you, really working together, getting on the same page. Three of Pentacles even could be some closure or just compromise after argument, but definitely finding victory with a Pisces, communication, and feeling like you two are finally on the same page with one another. So now, Leo, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sometimes, you know, I do so many readings and I, it, I'm bound to mess up. Nobody's perfect. So let's find out who I missed. So we have Aries, Taurus, Gemini, I know for a fact. Cancer, I know for... I miss Cancer. Because this was Leo. All right. So let's see what Cancer's was. Spirit, um, let me shuffle this out. I need Cancer's feelings for Leo. Yeah, this was Leo. All right, Spirit, I need Cancer's feelings for Leo for the last half of June or the last part of June. The end of June into early. Bit July. Thank you. All right, Leo. So Cancer's feelings for you, which I'm going to place right here. And then I will get you your oracle. Is the King of Wands and the Eight of Cups. All right, so if Cancer walked away from you, they're definitely making a U-turn because it seems like they can't find better than you. It does look like Cancer still has the hots for you. So if a Cancer has recently left you or you are in separation from a Cancer energy, they just seem like they cannot get over you or it's like they just don't find the passion with anybody else but you or you're just the only person that really makes them feel like uplifted and confident so it definitely looks like a cancer may be having either regrets of walking away from you or they just can't find better than you leo for others of you you definitely could be dealing with a cancer who is releasing the past to embark on a very passionate connection between the two of you they're definitely looking at you as somebody who is very attractive very hot very sexy all of that stuff so cancer definitely has the hots for you here so they're either deciding to let go of their past because you are so magnifying towards them and they're like oh my gosh leo could definitely be somebody that i can pursue and be with or your cancer is making a u-turn because they can't move on from you for others of you i definitely do feel like if you left a cancer they may feel like they just have no choice but i still feel like they think you're like the best looking thing ever <laughs> so leo let's get your oracle out spear for my beautiful leos Leo, if there's one thing you can rely on on this channel is that you will always get uh, readings, a lot of readings. I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, who should I give an after dark to? And I'm like, why am I even thinking? Leo, duh. And you guys are my highest viewing zodiac signs, but it's so funny because there are a couple zodiac signs that are pushing up there. Like they're definitely trying to get up there. And Leo, you still prevail. You're like, nope, here I go. So Leo, my way of thanking you guys back is to give you as much of the releases as possible and make sure leo always has a reading so here we go leo let's get your oracle i do read the interpretation from from the book so bear with me as i read it i try to read my best i feel like i am pretty good reader but tarot reader and actual like reading words <laughs> but sometimes you know you stumble here we go, Leo. So you have, ooh, a rose's kiss. All right, so I'm going to turn the white light on so you can see the beauty of these cards. And then we'll get back to the blue light. But look at this, card number nine, a rose's kiss. Some of you may have been born on the ninth 
oh sorry, or nine may mean something to you. But look at the beauty of this card, Leo, a rose's kiss. There is also a ladybug on this card, so you may be seeing a ladybug. Um, you may even be getting roses, so that could have some sort of imagery connection to it. So let's get our blue back and read your interpretation. A rose's kiss, card number nine for my beautiful Leos. Here we go, Leo. Take a deep breath and center on the feeling of joy. Can you allow your senses to awaken and connect with your desire to experience all life has to offer? Pleasure is part of life. Let yourself surrender to it today. Our modern times often present a false ideal of how we are meant to experience the world. Connections are lost and distorted by our own technology. Just look around and see how many few people actually maintain eye contact or engage in conversation. Instead of tapping away at a screen, pause and consider how you can make more intimate contact. Connecting with nature, enjoying the sensual pleasures of sex, and or being aware of the sensations of touch, taste, smell, sight, and sound may be important right now. How do your sheets feel? Can you reach out and feel the heat and softness of your companion animal nestled beside you? Be present to another person. See them and let yourself be seen. Your five senses, sorry, your five senses are aching to be engaged right now. This is an invitation to get out of your head and into your body. You may be a spiritual intelligent being, but right now the emphasis should be in having a sensory experience. This is a sacred part of this gift of life. By being present to the sensual world, you invite an even deeper spiritual experience. Amazing, isn't it? Perhaps it really is time to, spot, to stop and smell the roses. All right, Leo, your reading beforehand was all about that. You coming together, a lot of you Leos, felt like that love was lost, boom, it's back, you're feeling close, you're definitely getting close to somebody or somebody's wanting to get close with you, we saw that attention coming in, that appreciation, that effort, that reciprocation, that person just feeling like Leo, you're the person that I feel like I want, so a lot of you definitely are just getting a plethora of attention from your person, from people, from one person, whomever, and it's time to stop and smell the roses, and it's time to feel good. A very feel-good reading here, Leo. I love it. So please do not forget to like this video. I am closed for private readings, but I do um, have a wait list going. So if you do want to email me at missmachise at gmail.com, I'll get you on the wait list for reading. And um, that's about it. Thank you once again, my beautiful Leos, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye now.